Welcome to Best Car Fixes. Uh, today this is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. We have Bruce here. I call him Bruce Lee. <laughs> and uh, today we have this car here. He ha what happened to you? It's not complain lost, about whoever did it, but you lost I, your key, yeah, right? I lost my key, yeah. And uh. then I had someone replace it, and then the guy, I guess, replaced it wrong. So now I gotta come to the best. Okay, let's go ahead. This time when he come, I look at it, I do visual inspection. This is 2006. Six Infinity. FX, FX35. FX35. Yeah. Now, the first thing I have to do is those car, uh, you have to drain, you know, clean the drainers. Most important, if you have a car like this, Nissan, Altima, Maxima, Infinity, all car with the sunroof, from time to time, please clean the drainer. Be sure that any water come here, you go inside, have to go down on the, on the ground. What I did is the battery is a little bit uh, discharged, so I put a, a booster. If you cannot charge it, I put a booster here to get 12 volt. Also, come here in this side and I open, you know, I open uh, this uh, passenger side uh, uh, carpet because in the, in the top there, there is a BCM or body control or some of the car, they have the BCM there. Water get into it, I don't see no water here. Maybe the BCM on the other side, but anyhow, this is one of the step. Now I do visual inspection. The car, he say after he program it, the car doesn't want to start. So I put the machine here, and uh, what's gonna happen next? Okay, let me, let me turn this one on. I connect my OBD. Hopefully I have the, the Maxim is gonna turn off. If you notice here, this is the key that you have it. If I turn the key on, this car have a steering lock. That means if you want to do the work, you have to do the steering lock and then you, you do the uh, immobilizer programming. But it looks like the steering is already unlocked. Look here, we have this piece here. If I turn the key on, <clears throat> turn the key off on, it stay there for like 15 seconds, then it's come on. That means something wrong. One of the things also be sure that the check engine light is on, that means you are communicating with the car. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Hey, you done? Now, I'm going to go to immobilizer. I'm going to program this key, accept. It looks like the car move, losing programming. And one of the reasons could be the antenna. You see this car have antenna here. Okay, I would say uh, by VIN, no. I just go by VIN, yeah, no. Why not? If there is a VIN. 2006 it's supposed to have a VIN auto auto detect I'm trying to communicate with the car if there is no communication with the car there's a problem too here I need green icon here okay nothing let me go again it doesn't want to do it the 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 the, the kind of freeze or something I'm not sure I'm gonna wait okay emo accept by vin auto detect Don't tell me no communication with the car. I have no communication with the car. Let me see now. Take it out. I'm not able to communicate with the car. That's a big trouble now. You see no communication with the car. That's bad. Still no communication with the car. See, VCI is working. So one of the problems we have in this car is we are not able to communicate with the car. Hmm. So we have no communication with the car. That's one of the problems. Turn the ignition on. Now I see there is a communication. I just get the communication. Right now you see, 
I don't know how come it's come very late. I see the shifter also, the shifter sign also is there. This is there before too. Mm -hmm. Five minutes after he programmed the key, mm -hmm. both, both warning lights came up. The shifter is very, very strange. Like, like, like I cannot see the transmission or something. But do you, are you able to drive it? It was driving. It, it was. I was able to drive it. Yeah, but it wouldn't turn on. Like, I would, my mechanic got it to turn on, mm. but he couldn't get it to turn off. I mean, like, if I turn it yeah, off. because the car, the car looked like he didn't see the car. The car is not in. Like, you need to be sure that the car is in. In, in, uh, in the shift have to be in park. Okay, Imo statue, I want to know what happened. BCM is good. Engine computer have two faults. Everything is good. Key blade. Number of the key registered, none. There is not even one key registered. You see here. Okay, I'm going to see why the, the engine is... I have an engine light on. Lag mode, okay, chain of, when you have chain of immobilizer key, maybe the key, maybe the immobilizer is no good, the BCM is no good, I'm going to clear it. Also lag mode is still there. So lag mode is still there, so I'm going to go all key lost. Blade key learning. Start it. You know the light there is red if you notice it. I'm gonna say yes. This is like regular programming. So now he say communication is no good. Now he says success. You see the light is gone. Turn the key off. Wait uh, five seconds, one, two, three, four, five seconds, remove the blade. So okay. Now put the blade. If you turn it, light is supposed to flash five times. One, two, three, four, nothing. It doesn't flash. The car is start, but lights never flash five times. The light is supposed to flash five times. light never flash five times that means either the chip the the the, the key is no the, the 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 chip is no good or either the antenna is no good or either the body control module is no good one of them is no good mm. yeah it could be one of them because as soon as you put the key and you turn it on it's supposed to flash five times one two three four five times we don't know why it doesn't want to flash. Mm. So I am going to let it run a little bit. And anytime you turn it off, it may not start again. Okay. Because it's supposed to flash five times. Um, I don't know why. Then we have to program. First, the key has to work fine, perfectly. And then we can pro we're going to look for a remote to program it. Okay. And if there is any problem with the body control module or the, 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 the key or the antenna, we have to diagnose that slowly, slowly. Okay. So right now, to avoid pushing back and forth, back and forth, I am going to turn this car, park it here, okay. and then we will be approaching the car slowly, slowly. Okay, no problem. I have your number. Um, I'm gonna keep it, and you have my number. We will be in contact. It may take time for electrical. Sometimes if I get part, we need to order it. Uh, we have to order it and we have to narrow down this problem so we're gonna the new key mm -hmm. and it wouldn't um, take the new key either and what they say they said um, leave it for another day let them check it out for a little bit more okay and I so just... so I just repeat what the dealer said yeah. it makes sense right yeah. so okay so we're gonna do that that means we already have the diagnosis I'm gonna try to get something either the body control module or this one here at least if I'm able to get to get something to work, it will be better. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.